Good morning, Monroe Mustangs. Miss Maruka here, just wanting to say good morning on this beautiful Tuesday, which is Tuesday, April 14th. Let's go ahead and say good morning, my friends. Ready? Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? All right, my friends, one time in Spanish. Ready? Here we go. Buenos dias, buenos dias. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Good morning, my friends. I hope you all are well and being kind and had a nice weekend with your families. I want to go ahead and let's get working on what we're going to work on today. So, before we left school, friends, I don't know if you remember, but we were talking about buildings. If you said buildings, you are a good guess, friend. You are correct. We, how, we were talking about buildings. And we were talking about what makes a building a building. So I'm going to use this book, Good Night, Good Night by Eve Rice, to help remind us of what makes a building a building. So I'm going to open up this page over here. And this is a perfect, this is one of the end pages in the book. But I love this page because it shows me everything that I need to know that makes a building a building. So one of the first things that makes a building a building is that it has a foundation. So I know the doggy and the kitty are kind of in the way. But if you see this on the bottom of a building this is called the foundation and the foundation is what holds up the walls in a building so you see how that foundation is holding the walls and then the walls hold what's up here the roof the walls hold up the roof so the foundation holds the walls and the walls hold the roof. So we can even come and look at this building. There's a little bit of a car in front of it, but you can see all of these buildings have foundations. And this building looks like it's, what do you think this building looks like it is? Hmm. I see some flowers and plants in the building. And if you look up top, it says florist. So this building is a business. How beautiful, a florist. So they sell flowers and plants there. But if we look over here, we have another type of building. It has its foundation on the bottom. The car's kind of blocking it a little, but you see the foundation right here. You see its walls. There's one, two walls, and then what's up top here again? Hmm, the roof. You are correct. So, this building is a building because it has all of the parts to it. For any structure to be a building, it needs to have a foundation, it needs to have walls, and it also needs to have a roof. So those three things are what make a building a building. Now I notice on these buildings, all the roofs the, on this page, the roofs were flat. See how the roofs are just flat? But buildings can also have different shaped roofs too. You see this one's this one's kind of curved up. Sometimes houses have like a triangle that makes their roof. 
but you can see all the different roofs and look at all those windows man we could definitely do a big shape walk in this picture there are so many different sh shapes i see a circle here for the window i even see a circle here for the moon i see squares little squares inside of a window the window pane has smaller squares wow i even see a half circle on top of this window man hmm how fun you can go on a shape walk using the building and then here are more buildings and different houses different people living in the community so this must be a house this guy lives in this house Here's a vendor pushing his cart on the sidewalk. And look, you can see the foundation of these houses and these buildings. Because a house is a type of building. It has a foundation, it has walls holding up its roof. And look. Wow. So friends, your job today is to continue working and exploring different buildings. So what I want you to do is not only look around and think about your favorite buildings, you know, sometimes favorite buildings could be somewhere you like to go. Like one of my favorite buildings, one of my favorite places to go is the library. That's a building. So in fact, when you think about your favorite building, Today, I want you to draw it. So, we got to make sure that we include all the important parts, right? So, I have, this is the ground. So, I'm going to have some grass coming out of it. This is my ground. And do we just put the walls in the ground? Or what do we need for our building? I don't know, we have blue markers, friends, but I got my grass. So there's the ground that we will build our building on. So what's what's on the bottom? What's on the bottom that holds up the walls? Do you remember? Hmm. If you said the foundation, you are correct, my friends. The foundation is what holds up the walls. So here's my grass. Here's the the dirt, here's the earth, the ground, and on top of it, I'm going to lay my foundation for my house. So there's my foundation, and then I'm going to make one wall, and then I'm going to make another wall. And since I'm making my favorite building, which is the library, I know that my library has a flat roof. So I'm going to make my roof flat. There's my library. So now I just have an empty building. Now I have to add detail so you know what it is. So I know that my library has two big doors in front of here. So there's one door, two doors. And I know that my library has some windows around it. Okay. And then I know that there's like some pipes up here kind of have smoke coming out of it when it's cold. I also, I, I want my, I, I know that there's a path that leads up to my library. So I drew the path. And then I know that there's a tree by my library. So I'm going to make this big tree. And I'm going to make a cloud in the sky because it's a cold, chilly day. Not my library. And then if I had more colors, I would color in the grass, I would add some flowers, I would even add some people. But most importantly, friends, what you need to practice today is remembering that buildings have a foundation, walls, and a roof on it. That's what makes a building a building. All right, my friends? So today, your job is to think 
of as many buildings as you can. You can even make a list if you want to write down something or if you want to draw little buildings to make help you make a list and get ideas of all the buildings that you go to. Maybe you go to the grocery store. Maybe you go to the doctors. Maybe you go to Chuck E. Cheese. I know a lot of us are staying home right now, but think about those places that you loved visiting and ask yourself, is that a building? And if it is a building, then you should draw it. Make sure you have your foundation, your walls, and your roof, because that's what makes a building a building. Okay, my friends? So today, your job is to think of as many buildings that you can that you have visited or that are around you where you live. And then draw a picture of a building. Draw a picture of your favorite building. Put all your favorite things inside of it. And when you're done with that, send me a picture so I can see what your favorite buildings are in our community. All right? So my friends, I will be thinking of you. Tomorrow is a new day and we will learn a new, something new tomorrow too but it's going to be connected to buildings, okay? All right, my friends. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, be kind, work hard, and stay safe. Bye, friends.